Okay, and now we're live. Okay. And I Hello, YouTube, also. So I am here with Adriana. Hi. And Brittany. Hi, guys. Who you maybe saw if you watched our latest YouTube video. We are here tonight um, doing our, we're doing a little bit of the girls' night. And um, we kind of thought about doing our nighttime skincare um, because we all have really different skincare routines. Um, I thought it would be fun to show you all um, what that looks like and some of our favorite products that we use um, so you can kind of see what works for different people. So if you um, are kind of in a rut or are wanting to try out some new things, um, you can see what works for some different types of people and skincare. And here's some lovely fart noises from a three-year-old. <laughs> Isaac. 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 Yes. Okay, so Brittany, what kind of skin um, do you have? So I have always really been into like natural skincare because my skin is super sensitive in general. Um, I, I have to use certain bar soaps in the shower as well. Otherwise I break out all over my body. So I pretty much use all natural stuff. So I um, primarily use facial cleansing oil from Lola Jane. Um, you can find her on Instagram and Etsy and it's really good. So it's just essentially sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, just a whole bunch of oils. And then I also use um, microfiber cloth and just use those things. So in the morning, all I do is just rinse my face with this and then put on my makeup and well, my um, like a lotion and stuff like that. And then I use a lot of Lush stuff. So I also just use this lotion. So I also have rose water toner that I use a lot of. So I'll spray that. And then I do have a facial serum, um, but it's, all three of those are from Lola Jane. And I use that pretty much primarily every night as well. Yeah, and the um, the lush is really good. It's um, it's all natural stuff. So if you're um, like vegan or if you have any um, like allergies or like dietary um, restrictions, okay. um, that's a really good brand to use. And then with the microfiber cloths, so it's, they're nice and soft, but they're great to use even if you're using like a regular cleanser. Um, it's really good for like gentle exfoliation. Yeah. Um, so you and I use all it for like the dead skin cells yeah. and everything. Um, so you have like a nice clean surface. Tom, um, Tom uses those to dry his car off. Yeah, or you, you can use them to dry your car. Yeah, I'll just use the towel that he dries as well. <laughs> and I use it for everything. Not <laughs> funny. Yeah, Not funny. I use it for everything. So like, as you can tell, this has been cleaned multiple times, but I just use it so much yeah. that it's got a lot of like dirt kind of left in it. Mm -hmm. So um, they're really great. I use it for everything. I just use that in the morning to keep as much of the oil that your face produces overnight, but just kind of get that dirt off. And then I yeah. start, but I have to use that pretty much no harsh chemicals. So that's why I'm pretty basic. Yeah. But like the oil-based skincare stuff is really good for your skin because yeah. like, like even the stuff that I use, I know like strips your natural oil. So mm -hmm. if you're using anything that like is probably most likely from the drugstore, it's probably going to strip your natural oil. So it's used, it's good to put like oil, yeah, oil on your face. Yeah. Even if you have oily skin, um, don't be afraid to use oils. Yeah. It'll um, cut it's down. not going to make you oily oilier um it's actually going to help cut down on the oils um because your face is producing more oils because it needs that oil because it's getting stripped from something else um so by introducing that oil in um in your skincare somewhere else yeah it kind of is tricking your skin um and it'll actually cut down on the oils um that are being produced throughout the day Okay, Audrey, what do you use? So, my skin, it kind of changes during the seasons. Um, I guess it would be what you call a combination. So, I get dry in some places, and then my T-zone is generally a little bit oilier. Uh, and then definitely during the winter, it's a little bit drier. And then during the summer, it's a little more oilier. And definitely if I don't drink enough water, it's way drier. <laughs> drink your water kids um so I have my skincare changes a lot <laughs> um I get tired of products products stop working on my skin so I switch them up um to trick my skin some more because he doesn't you know 
love doing that. So currently, um, so what I'll do first is I will take off my makeup with a makeup removing wipe. I used to use the Neutrogena makeup removing wipes, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> These are the Target brand ones. They're better. Which work just as good, if not better. They're like thicker. Mm -hmm. And yeah. 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 I and then I like, have the price. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. It's like a baby wipe. Yeah, they're yeah, like I thicker. <laughs> I only have to use one instead of like two. Like they're good size. Um, but this just takes off all of my makeup, like waterproof stuff, everything. So I'll use that first. And then if I'm being real lazy, like real lazy, like <laughs> I get home real late, I'm tired, minimum, wipe it off. Wipe it off and then I will use the Thayer's Witch Hazel that this girl introduced me to. Aww. This stuff is so good, y'all. It's really good. Um, this is in, it's the Witch Hazel with aloe vera in it, which I know is a thing, but it, so like Witch Hazel kind of strips your skin, so it's, I mean, it's a toner, so it's like an astringent. It's gonna take everything off. It's gonna deep clean your pores, so it's kind of drying, but it's got that aloe vera in it, so then it's adding moisture back into your skin. And this one smells like rose petals, and usually I don't like the smell of roses, well, so, and we just looked before with, like, we, yeah, yeah, and we looked before we started and honestly the rose water toner that I'm using is pretty much the same. <laughs> if your skin isn't super sensitive, mm -hmm. this is going to be a lot cheaper version. Yeah. I got it, this from Target for like, yeah, 10 bucks. I think it has, the reason I personally can't use it is it has glycerin in it, but that's really the only like, um, more harsh chemical than what's in here. So this is a really good affordable option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, yours is the lavender. So if you don't like rose, they have lavender. I think there's like a cucumber and then there's like the original unscented one. Um, so my basic, if I'm being lazy, cool makeup thing. wipe and then some toner on a, um, what's it called? A cotton swap, <laughs> cotton, <laughs> cotton pad. Um, that's being lazy just to get the makeup off so I'm not going to bed with makeup on my face because that's gonna get in your pores. And then it's going to cause breakouts. Nobody wants that. So after that, then I will wash my face. This is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. Y'all, this stuff is so good. So good. I don't know what's in it. It's magic. Um, magic? Yeah. It's magic, Isaac. <laughs> it's magic. I don't know. It's really good. I used it for a long time. I stopped using it, switched other stuff. Started using it again, remembered why I loved it, forgot why I stopped using it. It's great. Um, and then I have a couple different <laughs> serum things that I'll put on my face. Um, so one, my cheapy, is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. So I started using this when I did Accutane back in college. Did you too? Girl. I didn't use too. Girl, my skin was so bad. So was mine. It was, I'll try and find a picture. It was so bad. And I, and if y'all like know anything about Accutane, it dries you out like a mofo. And I tried every fancy expensive cream mm -hmm. on the market and nothing worked as good as my $4.00. <laughs> Pond's cream, <laughs> and I still use it to this so day. Our grandma still uses that. Yeah, so that'd be good. <laughs> this stuff is good. It's hypoallergenic. It's great. So I still use this all the time. Um, I don't really use it during the day as much now because my skin's not as dry as it was then. But I'll use it as night, at night, <laughs> um, just as a moisturizer. It's super moisturizing. Just plump your skin back up. Um, and then I have a couple products from Senegets that I love, um, the Climate Control and then the Nangai Oil. I have a ton of scarring from my acne um, and these have helped a ton with that. Again, I don't know what's in them. Magic. Um, but they've helped a lot with like the discoloration and everything. Um, I still have some issues that I'll probably have to like- hey, Mom go see someone and awesome. like get one of those lasery things the done micro, or whatever. Micro yeah. needling and stuff. Oh, it just looks yeah. beautiful, but like it makes I know. I've tried like all of the fancy things and, and the rollers and stuff. Like 
I, at this point it's like just like the actual like scars that are left yeah, yeah. and I think at that point I just need to get it like taken yeah. off um and then I'll see you the Rodan and Fields lash boost on my lashes this stuff is great for castor oil yeah castor oil is really yeah. good um it, it makes your hair grow eye, eyelashes or eyebrows it works really well and really fast yeah and then my other thing is I did this I should have asked Liz what was in this Liz is my sister, and she is like essential oil queen. And she made me this body butter. She made this. <laughs> she made this, and it has tanning oil drops in it. What's that brand? Um, Isle of Palm. Can I smell it? Isles, yeah. Can I smell it? And it's got jojoba it. oil in it, and it's it. got. I love jojoba oil. It's, I don't know. A it lot smells of like Noxima. That's what it smells like. I don't know what that is. But it's got a bunch of different like essential oils and like it smells really good. Stuff in it. I'll have to ask her what's in it. But it makes your skin so soft and um it helps with um like discoloration, which obviously I need for my acne scarring, um, and all that stuff. So I'll figure out what all's in this because she's told me like six times and <laughs> Actually, like, um, for acne scarring, like rose hip oil is a, I it's think a that's natural. In here. It's a natural retin A. I feel like there's like so, some orange peel or something. Yeah. That's what I use to and like fake my scars. Like maybe some lavender. I don't know. It's lots of, but it's great. And yeah, then I also use Beauty Pore strips, like any other college student. <laughs> and then you know, face mask. <laughs> face masks because they're the best. And. I'm so oh. opposite. I use no face oh. masks. I love face masks. I just don't feel like they ever do anything for me. Well, mm -hmm. even if they don't, I just like feel like I'm doing stuff mm -hmm. for my skin. And if nothing else, it forces me to like do the rest of my skincare. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Before and after. And then I just like feel pampered. <gasps> so. The only time I use sorry, the only time I use face masks is if I'm like with friends and yeah. I'm just doing it for fun. Um, some of them, like, I, I like doing, like, mashing up avocados and, like, yeah. making, mm -hmm. just making them. And yeah. I noticed it my skin softer, but I don't know. Like, I think I've yeah. just given up on it because of him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just, like, I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that what you do, thanks? What do you, what do you do? He's, 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 he's all right. He's all right. Um, okay, so for me, I use the Neutrogena wipes, but now I think I'm going to move over to the Target ones because are they cheaper? Yeah. Yeah, they're way cheaper. Done. They are way cheaper. Like Done. Half the price. Target it is. Yeah, because that felt really good. Like mine feel thin and kind of scratchy now that I well, compare. We try I do have those too because sometimes, honestly, if I'm, they're not like my favorite to use because they can irritate my skin, but. I want to take up my makeup all day. So now I've got here, so don't mind me. So, guys, look at the this. power of makeup. This Audrey and I went I'm to Target. I'm face. <laughs> Audrey talking. and I went to Target one night, and they <gasps> only had the Neutrogena left, but I really needed some. So I grabbed the Up and Up brand, and that's kind of when we fall, fell in love with them because they work so much better. They have look at this. It's yeah. like I use like not even half of them, and so much cheaper. So seriously, okay. get them. Okay. Okay. okay let's hear. It. Okay, and then also I want to try the Purity that, um, face wash, but it's like it's pretty expensive, right? It's like thirty six dollars. Okay. This is what you'll one. notice about my skincare routine. They have a routine. smaller one that's twenty four, but, but it lasts forever. My skincare routine is cheap. That's like that's my middle name, cheap. If it but, works though, but yeah. 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 but I've heard really good things about this, and I've been wanting to step up my skincare, especially when it comes to like chem like using chemicals and things like that. I'm trying to get smarter about all that. If you're that. gonna spend money on something, it should be your skincare. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. And then. Well, I'm still, I'm hooked on drugstore makeup just because of the price, but, That's but I know. the but main I, thing is about chemicals in your makeup skincare. and in your skincare, yeah. but yeah. So anyway, I use, I, other than, than you, I'm opposite of you, when I find something that works, I stick to it and I never change it because I'm the deathly boring. afraid of breaking out. So I have sensitive skin in the sense that if I change anything, I'm going to break out. And so... If I change anything, I change it something like one at a time so I know what the culprit is. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, That's a great thing to do. Yeah. If you yes. want to try new that things, is a good sensitive tip. skin. Just one at a time. One at a time. Mom, um, what is this thing? It's a face lotion. Shh. Thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a cream, the Neutrogena Cream Cleanser, and I've been using this for a really long time. 
And so one of my rules is like no scented anything in my skincare. Um, this has like, like kind of, like, it makes your oh, skin, it. it makes your skin feel like kind of cool at the end, but it doesn't like strip your skin. It doesn't feel tight after you wash it. It's, it's just like your basic cream cleanser and it just, it just works. Um, and then after that I use my lavender witch hazel which at the time that I bought this I was getting like little bumps because I wasn't drinking enough water I was getting little bumps on my skin and I swear you guys like overnight it, they started to go away um, and ever since I've been using it um, I haven't I, I haven't had a breakout in like three weeks I think so it's been a while like and I, I've been using it for about a month and it, it, is, it lasts a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. My mom also started using it. I was telling her, um, and she had a lot of breakouts, hormonal breakouts on her chin. And she said they healed up overnight. So this stuff works really well. And then after that, so this is my big secret. Other than the witch hazel, putting tea tree oil, essential oil, in whatever like face lotion you use. Like if, it, can be in, huh. yeah, it can be in face lotion. It can be in your toner. Whatever it is, like whatever you put on your face at night, Put some tea tree oil in it because you you will notice like the breakouts that you get will be cut in half. It's so good and it smells really good. It's really soothing when you sleep and I noticed it made my pores smaller. Like I yeah. love tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is great. It's in a lot of cosmetics and like hair care products stuff too because it's really good it's an as like a antibacterial. It's stress relieving like the smell of it. Yeah. Like if I skip this step, I will break out like sometime at some point during the week, like my skin knows I didn't put it on there. So what I usually do is I just like open it and then I just like tap a little bit out on my finger and then I'll take my like just basic um, CeraVe face lotion. Again, it's mm -hmm. like unscented, really basic face lotion. I want to upgrade to something a little bit more moisturizing, but mm -hmm. right now this is just, it, yeah. it, it and works. That's good. I mean, that is like yeah, this stuff is really old good. school, but like it's been around forever because like dermatologists it works. like recommend yeah. this. When you go to dermatologists, they say like, go basic, do CeraVe. It's yeah. really good. So I put that in my hands and I put this in there and after I use my toner mm -hmm. and then I just rub it on my face. And also another good tip is double moisturize. So Moisturize your face and then like let it dry and then moisturize again. Hmm. Yeah, so I noticed a big difference yeah. in my skin once I started doing yeah. that. Yeah, I do that with like I'll put I'll take some moisturizer and then I also put my facial serum in it, mix yeah. them together and put them on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then also another secret is um, sleep with your hair out. Mm -hmm. Because like when your hair is like dirty or oily, if you put oils in your hair to like make it shiny or hairspray, sleeping on it will like clog your pores as well. So sleep with your hair out. Yeah. And wash your pillows a lot. Oh yeah, that's a huge thing. Um, with the tea tree oil, if you have like a really bad breakout, um, put some of this on a band-aid and then stick the band-aid on. Like if you're gonna be help, I mean you can wear it out. Yeah, because then it just like helps yeah. fill it in. Yeah. I mean you can wear it out. My sister wears it out. <laughs> no, I would she not. doesn't. No, she does. <laughs> I love you. Sister, what are you doing? Why um <laughs> Like, I wouldn't. It's like when you're out, like, doing errands or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it'll, like, help it, like, soak in and whatever. Um, but, yeah, a little tea trail on, like, a Band-Aid. And yeah. it just, like, soaks yeah, it in. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It gets right up right now. Like, nobody's business. Yeah. I feel so much better now that my makeup's off. Okay, I'm going to show you really gross. Guys, look at this. It's just, it's gone. <laughs> you gotta clean that up, too. I know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of like just, I mean, very different, but very, I mean, it yeah, works. Sim similar chemicals, yeah. similar mm -hmm. stuff. That yep. makes, yeah. I think a big thing that we all kind of watch for is like trying to watch your ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, I, because I do have such sensitive skin, have to be like an extreme to it. But <sighs> even if you can cut like one product out for something a little bit better and it doesn't have as many chemicals, that's going to be a lot. Yeah. Really helpful. Yeah, for sure. Definitely watch for in i mean just like you would watch what you're putting in your body with what you're eating you should be watching i mean your skin what anything that's going on your skin is going into your skin and into your body yeah. so if we make sure that anything you're putting on your skin um be careful of you know the ingredients and everything of what's going in there um you don't have to pay a ton like you've seen some of the products that we use are expensive and some of them I you can pick up at Walmart yeah. um like a good rec if you're on a budget like a good recommendation would be just cut out scents 
Yeah. Like yeah if you want to sure. see a difference in your skin, but you don't want, you can't like afford any pricey items, just mm -hmm. cut out anything with a scent in it. Yeah. Because yeah. you'll really notice a difference. Yeah. Yep. I mean, go basic. So I'm like a Dove bar of soap, unscented, your basic, will clean your face. And I mean, you know, start there. So, but just take the time to at least like, if you're not washing your face every night, take the time to at least go buy these. Mm -hmm. I mean, this isn't like the end all be all and you still should do more skincare, but like there is nights where I get home and I'm like, oh my gosh, just wipe off yeah, your yeah, face. Yeah. Just wipe your face. Yeah. So you work right and if like, and if you do have like more sensitive skin or something, um, they have, um, the brand Simple mm -hmm. makes some wipes that are really good. Um, they have ones that are like the micellar water. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be a little, um, like more gent they're a little more gentle on your skin. Um, so that's another one to try if, um, you need something a little easier on your skin. Um, that's another good one that I really recommend, um, to try out. But yeah, hope y'all. I hope you learned something and yeah. got Have something fun. out of it. Hanging out with us and eyes in. Loud mouth. Yes. <laughs> oh, if you're looking for a microfiber cloth, Lates by Kate on Instagram. She has like the best ones. They're not the ones that I have, but they're really good. Yeah. I've been trying to get some. So don't actually go buy them because on the next time she restocks, next I think it's next week, I want to get myself some. But they're even better than the ones I got off Amazon. But yeah, honestly, Amazon. Amazon will do. Amazon's everything. So that's it. If you guys have any um, products that you love that you think some. we should try out, let us know. I'll be sure to check them out. And hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday night, whatever you're doing, and a wonderful weekend. And we'll <laughs> see you later. 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 Bye, Bye, guys. Bounce up. <laughs> no, I'm in my cars. I don't know how to turn this off. <laughs>